Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, I'm happy to bring you this 2011 Maybox 62S. The Maybox 62 is an extended wheelbase version of the 57 sedan. This is gonna be a full in-depth tour of the 62. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip and go over the performance data and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Fletcher Jones and Ports in Las Vegas, Nevada. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. This vehicle does come equipped with a smart key access system by keeping the key fob in your pocket and using the little buttons integrated on the door handle, you can lock and unlock the vehicle. We have it unlocked at the moment. To lock, just press the button. Then after waiting a second, you just tug on the handle and it unlocks the vehicle. Automatic self-closing doors. And again. It's the Baltic black exterior. Aspen white leather interior and black piping around the seats. You can also start the vehicle by pressing the button at the top of the shift knob. Just put your foot on the brake. It's got a perforated leather wrapped steering wheel with chrome accent rings as well as a stitched airbag cover. Very smooth power steering. It's got a five speed shiftable automatic transmission, leather wrapped, as well as a backup camera with guidance lines. And it's got a hand on the headlights. It does have automatic lights, fog lights, as well as the hazards. All four windows are fully automatic. And let's check out the exterior, shall we? By Xenon projector headlamps with the Maybach logo embedded in the projector lens. Also has retractable headlight washers, front parking assist, Prominent chrome grille. LED lights down below. This particular 62 has 20 inch alloy wheels. With dual brake calipers providing superior stopping power. It also has electrically controlled aromatic dual control air suspension with variable ride height and spring rate. Electronically controlled dampers, as well as a double wishbone front and multi-link rear suspension. Graceful body lines. This particular model includes the optional solar panel module. As you can see right here, it generates enough electricity to power the car's ventilation fan, as well as a rear sunroof that can be turned opaque at the touch of a button for privacy. Automatic rain sensing windshield wipers, integrated LED turn signal mirror, 
They also have LED tail lamps. Dual chrome exhaust ports with rear parking assist. Here's your rear view camera. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. This generation of the Maybox 62S comes with a revised twin turbocharged 6 liter V12 engine, single overhead cam, 32 valve with variable valve timing, and now produces 620 horsepower at 4800 RPM, as well as 738 foot pounds of torque at only 2000 RPM. It is rear wheel drive, four wheel independent suspension, and on premium unleaded gas, EPA estimated miles per gallon ready are 10 city, 16 highway. These engines are completely hand built from start to finish by one technician assigned to it. Extremely smooth power plant. And one other pretty neat thing that's becoming standard on a lot of German luxury automakers is that the doors actually don't have catches built into them. For most cars, it'll stop at a first position, second position, third position. Um, basically, these doors work on a magnet and don't have those catches. So you can open the door at any point in time and the magnet will hold it in place. It allows for easier getting in, getting out, and tighter spaces so you don't have a risk of bumping your doors. Every part of the Maybox interior is either covered in Grand Napa leather, Alcantara, aluminum, or in this car's case, black piano veneer. An optional trim, whereas the other trim you can have various shades of wood grain. Stitching going to go down across the doors. Change storage. All of your power windows, power mirrors, power folding mirrors. And your power locks are located up on the dash. Three stage heated as well as ventilated front seats. Five person memory settings for the driver's seat. And all of your standard power adjustments. Dynamic multi contour front seats. Like I said, with heat and cooling, as well as a full massage feature. This one controls your headrests, standard sliding, tilting, and reclining, and this one slides the bottom cushion in and out. Beautiful details. Storage down below. Aluminum pedals. Full leather wrap dash, power trunk release, parking brake, headlight washer control, tilt telescoping steering wheel, it's also a heated steering wheel. Still wrapped in the factory plastic, but they're solid chrome door sills with the veneer trim alongside. And let's go ahead and see how she sounds. Does have a rev limiter around 3000 RPM. And let's go ahead and shut her up. You see a little bit more in depth the laminated thick pane glass. Fantastic for noise reduction. 
This vehicle has a quad zone climate control. You can individually customize the temperature for the driver, passenger, as well as the back rear passengers. Independent fan speed for both sides, as well as independent zones, or all three zones, as you can see. One touch automatic for both sides, your temperature, AC on or off, in cabin air filtering, recycling, front defrost, as well as rear defrost. You can also equalize the temperature for all passengers here. You also have this beautiful dark wood trim gracing the doors, as well as down the center stack. It has a 600 watt, 21 speaker Bose surround sound system with standard Sirius satellite radio and a lifetime subscription. Navigation here, the dealership has the disc at the moment. Mute for phone. Repeat navigation commands. Audio settings. These commands are controlled by the center stack here with arrows up, down, left, right, as well as angled controls and OK in the center. Preset stations, info, as well as service. Standard radio. Preset stations, your weather band. Elsewhere around the state, it was sunny. It was 98 at Desert Rock. Storing, scan, up and down are for scanning. Left and right is tuned. Integrated telephone controls for the front as well as hands-free Bluetooth controls in the rear. Your number pad, SIN, off-hook and on-hook buttons, as well as your CD changer. Controls for all of your power rear sunshades. Cup holders. Trash and control, spring stiffeners, ride height control, pre-collision detection system as long as the, along with your laser guided cruise control, parking assist, raising and lowering of the rear headrest for visibility, parking assist controls as well as your control for your rear intercom. This vehicle also comes with the rear partition which is an option, I'll talk about that a little bit more in the back seat, but you can control the glass and the shade from here. It's all automatic, as well as the privacy shade. Storage. Auto dimming rear view mirror with garage home link. SOS, emergency roadside assistance. Overhead lighting. You can also control the rear sunroof from up here, whether you want it to have it open or opaque. Radio controls, hands-free phone controls, as well as a driver information system integrated into this heads-up display here. And let's go ahead and shut her down. Check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Now for the most unique feature of the 62 is its rear seating. Large rear doors and a very large wide opening. Makes getting in and out quite easy. three-person memory for the back seats, as well as heat and ventilation. You also have all of your individual adjustments for the back seat, including your headrest, standard sliding, tilting, as well as adjustment of the bottom cushion, and the leg rest. 
Or to make it easy, just press this button and I'll recline the whole seat out for you. Then just flip this footrest out and you're good to go. The other seat on the other side performs in the exact same way. Simple as that. Chrome door sills back here as well. Massage for both the rear passengers. Like I said, this vehicle has the partition with rear intercom option. It's about a $30,000 option for the Maybach. Makes a true limousine fashion. Now, I just grabbed the door from the outside and closed it, but for someone who's already sitting, it's quite impossible to reach out there. Therefore, Maybach put a little button right here, and when you pull it, it automatically closes the door for you. Now to start off, I'll show you a bunch of the commands for the sunshades as well as the sunroof. They're all located here. Individual controls for your sunshades. And up front. This one also has the panoramic roof. That by one touch of a button, you could turn opaque. for privacy purposes. And if you want to put the shade up, the button to the far right automatically turns it opaque and brings in the shade. And basically those are all of the functions of this command center here. You also have storage among the padded console. Down here, you have a refrigerated container for beverages. Right on front here, you have a bottle holder, as well as two integrated glass holders to grasp them from the bottom, keep them upright. Then if you press the button right next to it, it brings out two standard cup holders wrapped in the wood trim. Power outlet. You can also activate the SOS emergency assistance from back here. Your rear illumination. Lights up quite nicely. There's chrome gauge pods up above. Display the vehicle speed at which you're currently traveling. An analog clock, as well as the exterior temperature. Various vents, coat hooks, storage pocket, dual screens in the rear partition, rear DVD player, TV, CD, radio, as well as auxiliary and AV input, all controlled by the remote provided by Maybach. This center console up here contains your vents, another storage pocket, as well as your dual zone climate control for the rear. Independent zones for each side, independent automatic and fan speed, yielding total and complete customization. This system right here is for your hands-free Bluetooth telephone, all controlled here and this little screen here. Bluetooth enabled music streaming, ringtone call settings, connection settings, and it was kind of hard to see through that plastic. And other various options. DVD player and AV inputs. Six disc changer. 
as well as additional storage. You also have pads on the outside of the headrest that provide much extra comfort for your head while leaning back. And as you can see with the shades up, completely blocks out all view of the interior. Total privacy. Impeccable craftsmanship. It's got a full power truck. Fully carpeted, side storage pockets, leather stitched, here's the vehicle's floor mats, plenty of polished chrome trim, as well as gracing up top. And you also have a place for the optional integrated umbrella. Very nice amount of space. Same adjustments as the driver's side. Massage for the side. You also have five person memory setting for the passenger seat, as well as the same power adjustments as the driver's seat, your heat and ventilation. Massage settings. When the vehicle is turned off, you can probably hear that the solar power roof is powering the interior ventilation system, basically circulating the air around and preventing the interior from getting excessively hot during scorching summer days. Spot for an integrated cellular phone. iPod integration. The glove box also doubles as a cool box. By adjusting that vent over there, it filters in cool air to keep items chilled. Beautiful craftsmanship. one impeccable handcrafted machine. By far one of the finest vehicles available on the market today. 
for a similarly equipped Maybach 62 as the one you've just seen in this video, be prepared to spend an estimated MSRP of around $519,000 including options. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour on the 2011 Maybach 62S. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more that came from. Take care, everybody. And here's just a quick clip of a 2011 Antigua White 57S. And the Kurilis Island leather interior. Rich wood grain, two tone brown dash, as well as matching Alcantara headliner. This particular one does have the sunroof up front. Instead of the black piano veneer, color matching trim. Monitors in the rear seat. Monitors in the rear of the seat. As well as an integrated veneer tape in the rear. Vanity mirrors.